Hello there, this is Laura Villafranca from Cisco Security Tag Team. Today, I want to show you how to configure an external authentication method using ICE radius for management access to the FMC and FTD devices. This is the first part of two videos in which I will show you how to prepare your ICE server, adding the network devices, user identity groups, local users, and the authorization profiles that will be necessary to configure the ICE policy rules. Once you are logged into your ICE server, go to Network Devices and add the FMC and FTD as radius agents. First, I'm adding the FMC. Enable radius authentication and set a shared secret. Do the same to add the FTD and use the same shared secret you used for the FMC. Now I'm going to create the user identity group for my users. So let's go to Administration Identity Groups. In this example, I'm creating two groups, one for my user with admin rights and the other will be for read-only permissions. Move to the Identities tab and click Add. Here I'm adding the users for which I have created the identity groups. For my admin user, I set a password. And added it to the Firepower admins group. Now I do the same for my user with read-only rights. This one is going to be a member of the Firepower read-only group. Next step is to create an authorization profile for each user group and device under policy elements results. This is where we map the FMC's user roles and where we can also configure the CLI authorization level on the radio server for the access to the FTD. For the FMC user access, we must use a radius class attribute. So for the admin user, I'm using the class value administrator. Repeat this step to add the authorization profile for the read-only user, but this time, with the radius class value read only. These values will be used later in our next video to define the user's roles in the FMC. For the FTD CLI access, we must use a radius service type attribute. So let's repeat our previous step but with a small, tiny difference this time. For the admin user, select radius, service type, and choose administrative, which allows full access to the CLI and permits to use all the available commands. And now, Last but not least, for the FTD CLI read-only users, let's use the attribute radius, service type, and a yes prompt.
This is the basic access authorization level to the FTD CLI. At this point, we are ready to configure our policy that will give the access to our users to log in to the FMC and FTD. Go to my second video to complete your configuration. Thanks for watching.